Hi guys, welcome to Daisy Styles. So recently, equine YouTuber Shelby Dennis got the cutest little chestnut foal called Banksy, and I've been so obsessed with him. He is the cutest little boy. So I decided that I would do a repaint on a Schleich foal to look like him. So this will be the process of making little Banksy. And all the materials I use for this repaint will be listed on screen now. So my base for this project is going to be the Schleck Trekhander Foal, which looking back probably was a mistake, but we'll get into that later. To prime him I used white acrylic paint mixed with the tiniest bit of chestnut orange. It's really important when you're priming with acrylic paint that you mix in a substantial amount of water and paint on thin layers, I did about 5. I'm going to shake my sealant for about 1 minute before giving the model a good spray. And this stuff is really not good to inhale, so be sure to wear a mask even though you're spraying outside. Once my model has thoroughly dried, I'm going to take my soft pastel and shave off the tiniest bit of terracotta orange and a lot of white. Mix them together and looking back, this was probably a mistake. I should have added more brown, but I didn't realize it before later, so... I use a semi-hard brush and I just dust the pastel all over the model. A very important tip I learned from one of my Instagram followers is that you should always wear a glove when you're touching the model while you're using pastels. If you don't, you might get some of your oils from your hands onto the model and that might result in the pastels being blotchy. Also keep in mind to build opacity, you have to spray the model in between every layer of pastel. So basically, I just continue on layering the pastel to build opacity, and with each layer, I added a bit more terracotta to the mix, so it kind of gets darker and darker, and you want to take your time with this step because it's so much better if you take several layers of light pastels instead of, like, a couple layers of dark. In hindsight, it was definitely a mistake not adding any brown in these early stages. I only realized it later on that I had to use brown. So if you're doing this, definitely add brown into the mix throughout the whole thing and not just in the end, just like I did. So here is one I realized that he was turning out way too yellow, so I had to use some brown, but it was kind of too late because it made him a lot darker than I would have liked him to be. So yeah, lesson learned, I guess. Here you can see not using brown until now kind of backfired because he's very orange, so I'm going to try my best to kind of pull it back. So in my attempt to tone down the orange, I used the color Nougat, I think it's called, and I halved it with white. And since we're nearing the end of the pastels, I decided to dab on some dark gray around the eyes too. So this is the final color I achieved with the pastels. I think it's a nice chestnut color, but I wish I could have achieved kind of a lighter color like Banksy's but overall, I think it's good. So now that we're done with the base color, it's time for the most fun part, painting the markings. Now, Banksy has some really, really unique markings, and it's gonna be a challenge replicating them, but I'm excited. So I stalked both Shelby and Banksy's Instagram account to find the best possible pictures showing off his markings, and I watched them closely as I was painting. I put a clean piece of fleece underneath the model just to prevent any scratching from rubbing against my desk.
Once I was done with the leg markings, I started on the blaze. I turned him over and I discovered I'd accidentally painted on the side of his face. I panicked for a moment but then started wiping it off with water and luckily it did come off. Alright, back to painting the blaze. I found a good technique for painting intricate markings like this is to outline the marking first and then fill it in. I mixed white, brown, and red to make kind of like a dusty pink color and painted that on his muzzle. And I also painted on the little gray spots he has on his muzzle. I've noticed that when horses have gray spots on their muzzle, it's usually accompanied by like a white rim. So to achieve that, I watered down some white acrylic paint and painted it all around all the gray spots. To make the color of his hooves, I mixed gray, brown, pink, and white. To make the transition from hoof to hair not as sharp, I'm going to kind of fussify the edges with some white acrylic paint. Now we're on home stretch. I paint the mane and tail a light chestnut color pretty much the same as the coat. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and lighten the underside of the tail. Using a thin striping brush, I'm going to paint in the whites of the eyes. I paint the iris with a mixture of brown and black. Then I added some brown on top but not covering all the black. Then I carefully paint on the oblong pupil. Now that I'm done with the paints, the only thing that's left to do is to give him a couple good sprays of the sealant. When everything has dried, I painted glossy varnish onto his eyes and inside his nostrils. And with that, Banksy is finished! So that is little Banksy. This was honestly such a fun repaint to do, and I really hope I did a little Banksy justice. I've never actually done a repaint where I strictly followed a reference, and it was definitely challenging, but it was a fun challenge. Looking back on these reference pictures, you can see that my model was isn't really right, like the head shape isn't really right. So I think getting the right model really is a key part to this project. So if I would have done this again, I definitely would have changed the model, but overall I think I did a good job and I think it's adorable. But anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, tell me down below, <laughs> tell me what you think about this video, and tell me any other videos you'd like to see on this channel. And I also want to give a quick shout out to Shelby Dennis, the owner of Banksy. I will definitely recommend giving her channel a watch. I've been watching her for a long time and I really like her videos. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you next time. Bye!